Hi, Elle Ingalls here at lingles.com, pressure-free.com. For those of you who are new to my show, this is Living Pressure Free with Elle, and I help people reduce stress, anger, and anxiety by understanding the biology of the stress response. It's pretty profound, and today my topic is dry mouth, dry eyes, and mouth sores. So if you or someone that you know has experienced a lot of dry eye issues, or um, that feeling that your mouth is really dry and even water doesn't help. Maybe you're gonna give a speech at work or um, do something that's a little out of the ordinary and you feel your mouth go really dry. Um, and then mouth sores. So if you get canker sores a lot, if you have um, you know, a lot of problems here around the mouth, I want to explain to you why because I didn't know any of this until 2010 and I delved into my research on the fight or flight stress response and all of the symptoms that tell you that you're triggering too much of your stress hormones. So you might think like, well, I have a normal amount of stress. It's a pretty stressed out society today, so normal has gotten really high, <laughs> especially 2020. So um, you might think like, I'm not that stressed. It's not a real big deal. But if you do get dry mouth or you have dry um, mouth sores or you have a dry eye condition, that's a signal to you that you are under too much stress. Or let me put it this way. You might not feel like you have a lot of stressors around you, or maybe you do, but you're releasing too much of your stress hormones. So I wanna explain it a little bit because when you understand your biology and what's happening to you, to me that's super empowering and I wanna empower you so that you understand why it's happening and then we can get to the results about how to stop it. So when you trigger fight or flight, even for the slightest annoyance, like I was talking to a woman the other day who said, yeah, I feel like, you know, even yoga doesn't help. Well, why doesn't yoga help? If you do a yoga class, but then 10 minutes later, something annoys you or you get upset about something, you've triggered the stress response. <laughs> so, Learning how to, to keep yourself free of these hormones is an hour by hour, day by day kind of thing. When you trigger fight or flight, here's what happens up here. All of the um, cells in, in your extremities, so your hands and arms, your feet and legs, and your head, your brain, the fat and glucose from those cells gets pulled out so you have a massive amount of energy to fight or run away. Does that make sense? So you, you need energy to save yourself when you go into fight or flight. But we're just a little annoyed because somebody's running late. <laughs> or a little late, annoyed because I push the button with my mouse and nothing happens. <laughs> or you're anxious about something. Or maybe there's like this story going on in your head and it just keeps getting worse and worse. You're negative, fake, worrying. You know, all these little things are the things that are causing us to trigger fight or flight. It's not that we're really under attack, but we have some sort of feeling that's treating our whole system as if we are. So when you release these hormones and you evict fat and glucose from this area, um, it, you're dehydrating your skin. You're dehydrating this whole area. Your hands may get dry. Um, your feet may get cold. And that's because you're literally pulling energy away from them in order to have this energy to fight or run away. So with the eyes, the tear ducts actually shut down on purpose. I'm not exactly sure why that is. I have my own hypotheses about it. You know, one is that if you're really under attack, you don't want to have a lot of, you want to be able to see very, you know, where the attack is coming from. And so that's a change in your eye. But your tear ducts are going to shut down in fight or flight. Also, your saliva ducts are going to shut down. That I've researched deeply. So when the saliva ducts shut down, that's because that's the first place you're metabolizing food. And metabolizing food takes a great deal of energy from the human body. When we're in fight or flight, all we wanna do is fight or run away. So your saliva ducts will shut down. Your mouth needs saliva, not just to metabolize, but to keep it healthy. And so your mouth is all dried out. And also, this is kind of cool, I mean, it's really profound, when you're not able to metabolize your food properly, and because of what happens in fight or flight, nutrients are not getting out here to keep your mouth healthy. They're not getting out to your eyes to keep your eyes healthy. So that's why you, you might see a deterioration in your, your vision. 
and your brain. We can go deeply on that on another talk. We're just gonna focus eyes and mouth today. So you're not getting the nutrients you need. You've blocked saliva, you've blocked these tear ducts. That's why your mouth is so dry. That's why the mouth sores start to happen. They're just not getting what they need. So when you learn that and understand that, it can make a lot of sense for you. So I see my friend Dale is on here. A couple other people have flitted in and out. If you're watching this on the replay, thank you so much. My new book is out. You can go to Amazon and either look up my name, L Ingalls, or um, go to Pressure Free Parenting. And you know, you could do me a huge, huge favor. If you just go there and actually peruse some of the praise, um, pages, like look inside, um, that can really help me with my ratings. So Amazon, I'm learning all about Amazon. This is my first trip with them around the sun. It's gonna take all the way around the sun because um, there are a lot of things that I am learning about Amazon. I wanna to touch a lot of people with this book. I wanna help parents. Um, my next book that I'm working on right now is um, pre The Pressure-Free CEO. This is for leaders of any kind. You could be the CEO of your family and benefit from this book. Um, this next one, hopefully early 2021. So somebody's giving me some love on that. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> it's uh, quite an endeavor, uh, but I would really love this parenting book to touch a lot of people. Um, so if you could help me out there, uh, that would be super great. So I'm on another call right now. Have a great pressure-free day and um, I care about your eyes and I care about your mouth. They're precious things. And so I can't believe the change in, in my whole head, my skin, my eye health. My eyes have actually gotten better over the years. Sometimes I even forget to put my glasses on when I'm leaving to drive because that's really the only thing I use them for and like far away screens. Um, like I hardly even need them anymore. So your eye health and your mouth health can boost so much when you use the pressure-free method. So have a great day.